valve vans guess what it's three valve wednesday hey i'm brent thanks for watching brent speed tv today we have an 07 celine mustang of course manual transmission let's run in the celine super shaker supercharger we're going to watch a dyno pull we're going to talk a lot more about the airflow restrictions and look a lot deeper in the super shaker kit hey it's awesome to get me wrong sounds great going down the road but we're going to take a closer look at that. So, hey, if you haven't, please subscribe and notify us up to date. I have Doug with me. Let's go check it out. All right, if you watch my videos, you know I'm a huge Celine fan. I have a Celine Mustang. I love this car. But here's a cool thing about it. It has the Super Shaker. I used to have one of these on my old Mustangs back in the day. But one of the greatest things about them, besides when the hood's down, it's sticking out, it looks cool. When this car is coming down the road, that supercharger whine is ridiculous. But Doug, come down here, take a look. So here's what we have, the car came in. Just for a look over some maintenance, he bought it used. It does have upgraded rods and pistons. Because of that, we have a 3.0 pulley. That's about 11 pounds of boost on this kit right here. This is the Super Shaker. It had a set of SLP long tube headers already installed on it. So that's awesome. And it's got the normal 39 pound injectors, which is fine for what we're doing with this car right here. We're gonna watch this dyno pull, but what's cool about this car is a torque monster. We're gonna look at those numbers and you're gonna check out the rear wheel horse. Maybe question, why is the rear wheel horse where it's at versus the torque? But don't worry, stick around, because after the pull, we're gonna come over, take this apart, and explain everything. Let's go check it out. All right, we're gonna look at the numbers. DinoJet SAE 93 octane, like I said, manual transmission. But hey, let's see our Coyote lever. Don't worry, search our channel. You're gonna see a lot of Coyote videos, but this is three valve Wednesday. And also, if you love what you just saw, that supercharger's been discontinued for like probably 10 years. Sorry, you can't get it. Maybe you could find one used. Doug, take a look. DinoJet SAE 483 roll horsepower, peaking at 5,900 RPM. Think about that, 5,900, we're gonna talk about it. Torque comes in, awesome, 491 at 4,600 RPM. Why is the torque 491? Why is the real horse 43? Why is that real horse not higher than the torque on this car? Well, before we're gonna go take a look, take one more look at it. Love this thing, this is awesome. A lot of these cars are still out there. A lot of them are in awesome condition. But what we're gonna do, I already have this loose ready to show you. So under this lid is a lot of airflow restrictions. Let me get this out of the way. Doug, take a peek at that. So here's what's going on here. When Celine did this back in, I think it was like 08 or 09 and they came out with it, they wanted it through the hood. It's awesome, but they had to worry about rain, rain coming in the engine. So they made a rain guard on this. So typically on all of our superchargers, whether you know you have the other Celine, like the standard Celine, you have the big inlet in the front with a you know giant air induction system coming in, good power, E4, same thing, maybe the old Whipples or anything you look at now, you know, everything's all about induction. But they couldn't do that on this because of rain coming in. So what they did is basically two air filters. It's it's one but as a pre-filter. I'm gonna pull this out and then we're gonna take a closer look at this. But what you have in here is this little air filter right here, but this is called a pre-filter. And they just basically have this on there to keep debris from coming in the engine. Then you have your air filter. So right now you're already dealing with this when you're trying to make big power. Hey, these things came with a 3.6 pulley from the factory, like seven and a half pounds of boost. This really isn't an issue with that. But when you want to start running a lot of boost or like this car right here, you have some upgraded internals. This whole airflow restriction is a huge problem. So I'm gonna lay that there. Come over here, let's take a look. I happen to have another one of these, so you can take a closer look. So this is where the air filter goes. But your air has to come in, it hits this. This is a rain guard. This is designed to block any rain and would drop down and supposedly drain out of some holes in the bottom. And then the air has to go down through the filter into the throttle body. 
That was the design. That's basically to keep the engine safe. So seven pounds of boost, no big deal. But when you want to run big boost, this is a huge airflow restriction. So down low, it's not a big deal. You get that nice like 490 torque we just did, which we did that because this does have upgraded rods and pistons and an upgraded crank, which we normally wouldn't do that on a stock engine. But what we've done in the past, this is back in the day when you know we could get our hands on these all the time, is you would cut this out. So right here, you would cut it out because you could buy spares of these, which you can't anymore. So someone might keep this one on their car for all the time. And then if they wanted to go racing, we'd cut this out. And now it's like wide open air. We had a car one time that was like, I think six, like 10 real horse. And just by, you know, that was, no. After cutting it out, it was like 650 real horse. But with that in there, it was like 90 less real horsepower. Now, you wouldn't get any change down low. The graph would go up. But where that graph was going flat earlier, by having that cut out, that graph will keep climbing. Just like any other supercharger you see. So it's a big deal if you're trying to make a bunch of power. But on a car like this, you know, you still get that low end torque. Going to be a fun street car. I love it. So just a little bit about the Sling Super Shaker. Discontinued, discontinued, discontinued. For those of you that might want to say, how do I get one of those? I don't know. Search eBay. Look around. Google, maybe you can find one, but hey, I'm Brent from Brent Speed. We're in Indiana, Pearson, Indiana, zip code 46562. What's it cost to get my Mustang worked on? You email quote at brentspeed.com. So that's pretty much it for today. It's three valve Wednesday. Pretty pumped about this car. It's been a while since I've had a super shaker in here, but that's pretty much it. Doug, do we have anything else? Nope, we're good. It's discontinued, oh, right? Oh, it is discontinued. Yeah, I know. I wish it wasn't. But hey, thanks for watching.